because that background is very uh, haphazard. Uh, done with a sponge and rolling brushes, and we frisketed it off to begin with to keep it um, to keep the color off the uh, off the drawing. But of course, we didn't. We got some color on the drawing over here, which we're going to have to pick out later. We got some mistakes over here, and we kind of got it in her eye, which is something we're going to have to touch up later. But right now, we're just doing broad strokes, and we're trying to do her face. And you can see in the sketch there that her face, she's in shadow. So we're not just going to put a flesh on her. We're going to put a flesh with some brown in it, because the brown, of course, has got blue in it. So we have to, now what I'm trying to do here is to mix two browns, a lighter and a darker, flesh browns, that is, a lighter and a darker, so that when I need the darker one, I have an opportunity to pull it out of here for a little bit of modeling. Okay. That's a pretty good darker color. Now, I'm going to go back to my lighter flesh draw it down because the board is on a slant and I can just hang it down. You see it's not really flesh and it's not really brown. It's somewhere in between. Now we have to justify it later on by putting blue on everything else. You see how the paint just kind of hangs down there and just moves on down. We'll collect it when we get to the bottom. Nice rolling color. Now in this case, I'm going to drag it past her face and into her neck. But I'm not going to do the shadow. I'm just going to do her neck there. Because so I have to go back and start modeling her face a little bit with my darker brown, which is this one. See, that'll give me a little bit of modeling on the face. It's not intended to be a fully modeled, realistic face, as much as it's intended to be a mildly modeled. Big advantage to using computers, of course, is that you can get this modeling a lot easier than hand coloring. On the other hand, you don't get a painting out of it. trying to do here is I'm trying to give her a little bit of shadow on her face from her hair. Now the advantage of letting the paint dry up there is I can get a little sharper edge to my brown. Now you can see what's happened is that as I let the color go, go and let it dry, it blends outward. So it actually blends itself. I'm not doing anything blend it, it just kind of hangs out there. I'm letting a blob go right there, you know? and it will blend together because the paint is wet. Tissue. Mm -hmm. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up a little paint from her nose, lighten her nose a little bit. some highlighting on her nose. A little paint from her lip. Lighten her lip. Lighten her chin just a little bit there. Now I can go into my, my browns and get a little bit more detail. I'm still using the big brush. I'm really not doing heavy detail here. I'm just blending. Help me 
add a little bit of a smile to her face. And I drag it on up. Modify it with my finger. Finger is one of the best tools you can use. Chances are this is about the modeling. Very, we're very close to the modeling I'm going to leave on here. A little bit of dry brush in here. A little bit of pulling out. Uh, helps that highlight. Okay, that's pretty good. A little bit of dry brush. Pull that cheek up. Try to make a little bit dimple here. Down. A little bit of a dimple. A little bit over here. Okay. Two? By picking up paint that's getting a little bit drier, I get a little darker paint, a little browner. I can dab it in there. I get a little bit of modeling on her eye, a little bit coming off here. Kind of nice. Okay, now we got to put the shadow under her eye. First, we got to finish this off. Finish that off. Okay, now we're gonna we gotta add some uh, blue. Okay, it's not a bad blue. I have to be a little bit careful because I'm gonna do I'm gonna mix this here with this brown. Add make a shadow under her chin and her flesh. leftovers here. Based on the look of that color, have to say, we need a little bit more red. Okay, so we're going to add a little bit of red to that. So just a little too green. I take my brown, make some little red to it. To rich up that color. Now it seems like I'm putting red, putting red on her neck, but since the blue is there, it's going to kill it. And it's going to come closer to flesh. Stop some of that baby up by drawing our brush and drawing it down. And while we're drawing it down, we're going to mix it together. Now I'm going to take that blended shadow. I'm going to start working this shadow that we put on our forehead. If I didn't know what I was going to do later on, that would be a very strong shadow. Okay. Since I know I'm going to have heavy the shadows up, I know I'm all right. A little hard to know in advance. 